Welcome back to The Score, the Upper Miami Valley's only high school sports show. We're gonna continue moving along in our Blazing Athletes of the Week show. And we're going. We're now joined here with one, uh, one of our Blazing Athletes from Troy Christian High School. He is a soccer player, Connor Peters. Connor, congratulations for being our Blazing Athlete of the Week, young man. Hey, Thank you got you. some fans out here. Yeah, my whole team showed up. Yeah, yeah I, I was that. gonna say, that's great support. Yeah, it was awesome. So you're a senior this year and, and you're playing extremely well. And uh, what's, it, what's it like being a senior and being on this uh, Troy Christian team? I mean, it's awesome. We have so much fun at practice, and every game is, like, always fun. We, we give our best every game, and it's just been a blast this year. Well, you know, you, you're not only a leader on, on that, but you also play basketball, and you got that coming up here. But first, you want to you want to go deep into that playoffs. Uh, you know, wh what is it? You're 4-0 in the uh, Miami Valley League, uh, or I'm sorry, the uh, uh, Metro, Metro Buckeye. Buckeye. I get to get to my leagues messed up there. <laughs> Metro Buckeye League, and, you know, y you've always been right there at the top, right? Yeah, um, every year since sophomore year, really. Right. I've been trying to keep up there. Well, and... I mean, you, you had a pretty good draw, so you're looking forward. You're getting – is the season over with, the, the regular season? Yeah. Well, tomorrow's our first tournament game. And who do you have tomorrow night? We play Stivers. That'll be – I mean, uh, you should ha handle them pretty good. I mean, where did you end up being ranked this year? We got second. Bodkins got first. Okay. So you're looking at a deep run into the tournament and really take this a long way. Um, over the season, how has the team grown? Um, we've had our ups and downs. We definitely had our rough spots, but I think we're going to the tournament much stronger than we were before the season. And what position do you play? I play forward. I play the nine. Okay. And uh, have, have you had you've had a pretty good season scoring goals too? So I mean, this is I know we were looking at your your statistics, and you've had some really big games. What was your best game so far this year? Oh, I I have no idea what my best game has been. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! You gotta have one that stands out that, or throughout your career, what what game kind of stood out that that you can remember and say, yeah, that's that's the one that I can really hang my hat on. Um, I think of the we played Xenia, and I think I had a hat trick that game and assist. And I think that was one of my better games. That was, and what year was that? Was that this, the, year? this, this year? This year, great. I mean, it, what's it like when you get that? I mean, when you got two goals, how much do you kind of press to get that, that third one? I mean, you, you really want it because it's a hat trick. You always really want the hat trick. So you're looking to be a little more selfish to get that one. Maybe not make that last pass and, yeah. and, and try to sneak it in. Definitely. So I always ask, uh, you know, soccer players for you, is, is it more, do you get more satisfaction after of scoring the goal or making that pass for your teammate to score the goal? I like the assist a lot more because I've always wanted to beat the assist record out of school and I'm tied for it right now. But and I always think the assists are more fun. So what's the assist record? Um, I think... I have 19 last year. I tied it for a season, and I'm hopefully beat the career record. And I think it's like 49. Awesome. Well, and it's always nice to have those type of records that you can say, "Yep, I had it," and that you're going to have to come beat that. Yeah, it's yeah. always fun. So on your on your team, there's always there's always been there's always that one guy that's on your team that pushes you even harder than even the coach. Who is that? Who is that? Um, I would say Sam, our center back, he's always pushed me to make me a better player. Right. And he's always helping me to, when I'm attacking him because he's on the defense, he helps me, like, be a better person, better player. So, you know, you're, again, a senior. You're one of the leaders. You know, how, how, do, you, how do you guys get ready for that soccer match? Is there anything special you, you do, any kind of music or anything you guys get, get into before the, before the game? Um, I say when we stretch, we talk. We, like, try to keep it relaxed, try not to stress right. over the game too much. So you're a senior now. Uh, what what do you have for your plans moving forward and, and after you're done with your career here at Troy, High, or Troy Christian? Um, I'm planning to go to college. Where? That's a good question. I don't know where yet. But yeah. I'd like to do zoology and biology and be really? like a zookeeper or a safari guide. Wow. I mean, yeah. at, at, so is, at, do you go to the zoos a lot and kind of think about what, you know, what you could be doing? <laughs> no. I just always I, I like animals a lot. And yeah. I think it's. I think it'd be fun, and it's a different kind of job. That I, I mean, I have a, I, I've been over to the Columbus Zoo, know a couple people that work over there, and they really enjoy working with those animals. It's, it's a special place to be. Definitely. I think it'd be a lot of fun. It's just, I think it'd be an adventure to do. Always. So um, do you kind of see yourself becoming the next uh, Jack Hanna and, and being <laughs> out there? <laughs> um, probably not. I'd like just to stay here and enjoy it. 
Okay. So, um, so you, are you looking at, at going forward to either play in soccer or basketball in school or? Um, if I was going to play any sport, I'd definitely play soccer in college, but I don't think I will. My dad really wants me to, but I don't know if I will. Oh, well, you know, dad's paying the bills. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so any, any one school you're kind of looking at to go to at this point? Um, my sister went to Lee University in okay. Tennessee, and so I'm kind of looking at that. So you're going to gonna leave the area and go, go out and go to school somewhere else more than likely? Yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal. That's the goal. And no pun intended, yeah, right? No pun intended. <laughs> so you know, as as you move as you move forward into the tournament, you know, things are going to get tougher. Is there is there any one team that you really would li hope that you be able to get another crack at? Uh, we definitely want to play Bodkins again. Sure. We think Bodkins got us when we were on our one of our off days. Right. And so we definitely we want them back. We want some blood. There you go. Well, you know, congratulations on being our Blazing Athlete of the Week, and good luck the rest of the way out. We're going to keep an eye on you and see how things go. And I said just work hard and, and keep those other guys back here. I mean, you brought a whole table of them with you, so you know that's that's good. So in, enjoy the rest of your season, and again, good luck on the way out. All right, thanks for having me. All right, Connor Peters, our Blazing Athlete of the Week from Troy Christian High School. We're going to take a break, come back with another one of our Blazing Athletes right after this here on TCR Sports.